Okay, so I cannot do a hey everybody right now because the feels are still there for the fault in our stars. I didn't think that I was gonna come home and like throw my camera on and talk about it. I went to go see the fault in our stars with my sister and just, I, the words, they can't come out right. And this is not a review at all, so, um, don't expect this to be that. I'm just wanting to talk about the movie a little bit. And I also kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm currently reading. I don't know. Um, wow, the movie was amazing. It was awesome. It was beautiful. It was just, it was everything. And I think a lot of people were really doubting that it was going to be good by the trailer. And um, a lot of people do that. I don't know why, but um, I think it turned out really, really well. Um, I really, 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 really liked Ansel as Augustus, and I liked really, I really liked Shane, Shailene as Hazel, and Isaac, um, Nat as Isaac, and it was just so good. And I feel so bad for the people who are going to go watch it, and they're not going to like it because. They have this thing with the book, and it's like, you know, it's a movie. It's not the book. It, no, nothing's happening to the book. Nobody is destroying the book. The book is fine. So you, you'll always have the book, but, and then, um, you know, the movie, it, it, of course it's going to be different. So I don't see the whole big thing with it being, like, people saying that it, it's, it's too different and they haven't seen it yet. Um, and they don't like the casting and everything like that, you know, to each their own, but I w thought everybody was perfect. There's nobody else that I could see as any of those characters at all. And I'm really glad that they were able to portray them beautifully, and I just thought it was great. I thought it was great. And even John fucking Green said that it was great, and he said that if he didn't like it, he would let everybody know, because he wasn't getting paid for the movie. He only got paid for, um, selling the rights. That's it. So if, if you watched their, you know, Vlog Brothers. Um, but I really, really enjoyed the movie. I thought that it was really great. I, the, the soundtrack to it was just, ugh, and I bought the soundtrack and I love it. And, ugh, and it's just, it, was, it was amazing. Okay, it was amazing. I cried. I can't even tell you how many times I cried. I think I cried eight times. But I maybe cried a little bit more. Um, I thought the scenes were shot just everything was really nice and they just captured everything so well that it was kind of creepy a little bit um, watching the movie because I wasn't expecting for it to be um, as close to the book as, as possible but um, it was and they were really faithful and I it's just it's amazing and I can't say enough about it and even afterward I was fixing my face because I was still in tears because it was such a beautiful movie and oh my god. And then there, there, one thing about it that irritated me was not the movie at all, but I was in a theater packed with a bunch of teenagers and not that I have anything against teenagers because I write for them and most of my viewers are teenagers and I was once a teenager, but these two, these this group, this group of girls were sitting in the back of me and my sister, and they were fangirling like fucking idiots, and I'm sorry, there, I think there's a certain extent that I think people fangirling should go to in a damn theater. I never ever remember hearing anything like that going to see Harry Potter movies. That shit was fucking crazy. They were all, woo, woo. Uh -huh, oh my god. It was so annoying. It was so annoying. So, so, so annoying. And I was just, in my head, I was just like, please, please, these bitches need to shut the fuck up before I run up these damn steps and wring these hoes by their fucking neck. Just, just, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. My dogs are feeling my anger right now. They're barking. But, um... Dope man, those girls. I even tweeted about it. I was like, these girls are fucking getting on my nerves. And then at the and then there's a part, and if you shouldn't be watching this if you have not seen the movie yet or read the book, and it's your fault because I'm gonna spoil it for you right now. Um, when Augustus died, they cried 
like fucking maniacs. It was so fucking annoying and it ripped me out of the movie that I was so enjoying it. I was crying too, but I wasn't crying like that. I swear, these bitches were acting like they were going down in the fucking Titanic. It was so annoying and that ruined it for me. Like, that part was just supposed to mean so much and those stupid bitches, man, fucking, fucking bitches. But I really, really enjoyed the movie. I really did, yeah. I don't know what more I can say about it. I mean, it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was awesome. Oh my god, it was awesome. And even in the beginning, I was just like, it's starting. It's starting. And I, my chest was hurting because I knew what was going to happen. So it was so crazy. And oh my god, it was just amazing. It was. We watched it. Um, you know, let's talk about it below you know what what did you like what didn't you like there was nothing that I didn't like like it was all great for me and that doesn't happen a lot because I remember watching City of Bones and there were things about it that I didn't like but I still enjoyed the movie and then even with the uh, Spiderwick Chronicles there were things about it that I didn't like but I still enjoyed the movie this one everything I liked and that rarely happens with book to movie adaptions. It rarely happens. Before I go, um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that I am currently reading Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. I am not that far in. I think I'm only like 60 pages in. But I am really, I really like it. Um, I love um, Gillian's uh, writing, and it's really good. I like it. Um, so I think that I might, you know, I think I might enjoy the entire thing because I like her writing. <sighs> but. Um, yeah, that, that, that's it. Um, I really hope that I got everything across that I wanted to. Um, I don't think I talked about the movie that much. <laughs> um, I'm just talking about my feels, but um, that's what this video is for anyway. Why would you want to hear a repeat of what other people are going to say? There's other people who are going to review it and talk about it a certain way. This is just how I'm going to do it. But yeah, so I'll see you guys next time with another video. Um, more than likely my book haul because I keep forgetting to film that and I cannot forget to film that and um, yeah and I will be making a video for the John Belair's month um, I decided that I was gonna go ahead and pick one book for all of us to read if whoever participates which I'm hoping people do participate I mean that would suck if I was doing it alone but um, I'm gonna pick one book and I'll announce that in the video because I picked four and I just don't think that we're gonna be able to accomplish that. And I just, it's really difficult. I really figured it out and it's really difficult to find John's books, um, especially used. I mean, you might get a really shitty copy that's falling apart and I don't want anybody to go through that. So I'm gonna pick one of his books and we're gonna go ahead and read it. And I'm gonna try my best to make sure that it's also available on Kindle just in case that's an easier way for people to get it. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye. Okay. Okay.